In this week's episode, we look ahead to Red Bull Gone with the Wind. We just want to create a new form, it's something new, something that doesn't exist. We have Red Bull King of the Air, that's something else. In Belgium, we have Red Bull Gone with the Wind. Everybody has a whoop, everybody is standing on one line. And then when they give the start signal, everybody is, is running. What's the advantage of being fast on the run? Then you have more time on the water. The first rider that arrives, so we wait five minutes. Then the woo starts counting the jumps, the air times, and after 40 minutes, the person with the longest air time, so the accumulation of all the jumps, that person wins. Are there any pre-qualified riders? Each club has an own leaderboard, and the person who made the biggest jump, he's qualified to go to the main event. And then the person who had the longest airtime in one gym, he can go to the main event too. So we have two winners in each club. And then we have a couple of wild cards. On the 20th of September, we're going to start um, with the waiting period. So we don't know if the main event is going to be in 2016 or 2017. We're just waiting for yeah, hardcore uh, conditions. We've got some data from Wood Jumps. So, um... We've logged over 4 million jumps by now, and this is a histogram, as they say, about the distribution of jump heights. You can see that there's a lot of, lot of very small jumps, and when people jump over waves or, you know, do transitions. And uh, you can also see that if you do get a jump above 10 meters, um, it's very rare in a platform. Obviously, the most important thing when people post sessions is not so much every single jump, but it's your, it's your highest jump of that session. That's really what matters. And so we have a chart as well that is um, looking at your maximum session height. So we have over 100,000 sessions by now, which an interesting thing to look at there is if there's 100,000 sessions and 4 million jumps, roughly 40 jumps per session is the average that people post, between 5 and I'd say 8 meters, where really the majority of our sessions are being posted, the vast majority, and then it trails off really, really quickly as you get towards 10, 11, 12 meters. So if you post a 10 meter session, this whole body of sessions is below you. So you're probably, I'd say maybe one out of five. Now we have some more accurate numbers to look at there as well just expressed as numbers. Once you jump nine meters, you're, al you're already in the top quarter of all session scores, and then it really narrows down really quickly. So 10.69 meters, say you post an 11 meter sessions, that's one out of 10 sessions that we see. So you re you're really already in the top 10% top basically of, of all Wu users. 95% um, gets you to 12 meters. So if you post a 12 meter session, you're very rare. And once you get past 15, you're really in, in a very deserted area where there's not many users getting up there. People like Lewis Crathern or, or, or Aaron Hadlow and, and those guys posting sessions 18, 19, 20, up to 24 meters in their own different league type thing. So obviously one, one big, and I would call it an unfair advantage we have, is, is all that data. It's, it's four million jumps by now. It's um, data coming from ourselves within the office. We're all kite porters, so we Every day um, there's wind, we go collecting data ourselves and try and find any kind of weaknesses in our, in our algorithms. There's our pro riders, Nick and Lewis, who are boosting to the moon at times. We have raw data sets on that. We have all the data from Red Bull King of the Air as raw data files so we can run new prototype algorithms through those sets of data and really, really um, make sure that we are as accurate as we can be. So all that went into Wu 2.0. Um, based off of that new hardware, we've also been able to tweak our algorithm um, be better and more precise, especially in high dynamic events. So imagine Ruben Lenton or, or some of those guys at King of the Air going out in 40 knots. Um, that's where we're more accurate and we've taken a massive leap forward from where we already were. Yo, 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 welcome to the Weekly Woo community update. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty epic height leaderboard from Monday, September 5th. Not a single person in the top 15 globally under 11.5 meters. Uh, a huge showing from the U.S. We had a hurricane hit uh, southeast and northeast. A lot of OGs of woo there. Uh, Netherlands also epic sessions. Great boosting all around. Uh, shout out to our girl Pamela up in Canada, finishing out the hashtag BK Huckfest. Tearing it up. Love the dog, love the kite, love the stoke, love the wine. Dwayne spot this one, love the shock top. More importantly, 29.9 feet, you're almost there. We'll see you at 30 feet next week. All right, tons of sessions this week from the Midwest here in the US. Uh, Lake Michigan, also some Kansas, some Oklahoma. Um, really cool to see the lake riding. Boccaccio, Boccaccio. Awesome, man. 
Holy smokes. 59.2 feet, and you have the balls to say it wasn't you. Well done. Where is this, man? I want to go see this resort. Hey, James, I love your setup. It's pretty sick. You got you got turbochargers in that beast? What's your what's your height clearance on that trailer, though? Our man Aaron at Elite Water Sports. Awesome avatar, not to mention 55 feet hitting some hurricane wind in Florida. Another hurricane session here in Florida. Our boy Brett Sullivan, 30 feet. Hurricane Hermine. Want to send some love to our boys in Australia. Your summer's just about to get started. Looking forward to seeing a lot more sessions. Came across this one, 9.4 meters, coming out of Tahiti. Looks pretty epic. Saw a lot of activity out in Hawaii. It's been dry there for a couple weeks. Stoked to see you guys back out in the water. Uh, I thought windsurfing was canceled. Dude, PEI, Prince Edward Island in the house. Robinson, man, love seeing a session out there. How cold is that water, dude? Shout out to uh, Kite Surf Dave in Cyprus. Stoked to see you got some Carlsberg. I drank way too much of that when I studied abroad in Europe. Great beer. Morgan, props for taking back the lead. Love the uh, smack talk. Look forward to seeing who's on top next week. King of West Bay, Morgan. You know, it's not every day when you're scrolling through the Woo Sports app that you get an English lesson. But today, it's quaff. Quaff, quaff, quaff. To drink a beverage copiously and with hearty enjoyment. Cool, man. Thanks. Our man Sharky Rob, always a character. Honestly, Bear got sprayed by a skunk this weekend. I thought about putting him in the washing machine. Hey, Benoit, just a little free advice. Always go for Jack Daniels. No substitutions. Never. Quick local shout out to our boy Sam Arnold, dethrowing Kiter Mike, top the Plymouth leaderboard. 42.4 feet. Epic. I don't land him either. Enough said. Another local shout out to our boy Phil Mann, always a joker, new personal best keeping up with the big boys. Giving a shout out here to our man Jan. He was top of the global leaderboard on Monday. Um, 48.6, almost 50 feet. How do you like that click bar? Ronnie, I don't want to call you a liar, but that is not a Rebel 12. What, what are you doing, man? Playing with pandas? Awesome. So for those of you who don't know what Kansas is, it's a state in the US. Watch The Wizard of Oz. Go figure, uh, tornado country, it's actually windy there, and they have water. No idea, but was super stoked to get a local leaderboard for this spot in Kansas. Five guys tearing it up over the weekend, showing us that there is kiting in Kansas. Who the hell knew? Yeah, and so as if Kansas wasn't enough for you, you heard of Oklahoma? Here we go, we got a dude, solo session. Logging down the first session at this spot, our boy Derek, 33.9 feet, very respectable. Pretty dope session photo here from our boy Rob. Uh, there was a lot of wind and waves across the globe over the weekend. Looks a little messy, but looks like he made the best of it. So this week, some of our team's down at Surf Expo in Orlando, Florida, checking out all the best products in Kite and Wake for 2017. If you're there, come say hi. Our very own Leo. Or just look out for the blue dinosaur. 